CCTV Camera World is proud to provide support for products purchased from our website. If you purchased your product from another vendor, please contact the vendor you purchased from for further assistance. So this video is meant to show you how to diagnose internet viewing problems with your cameras. The first thing you need to do is go on a laptop just like I am here on my network, connect it to the same router as where my NVR is hardwired. My computer is actually a laptop and I did a speed test it's giving me an estimation of what kind of speed I'm getting from my internet. And I'm getting download of 506 megabits per second and upload of 326 megabits. That's a lot of data. Each 4K camera uses about 10 to 15 megabits per second upload in full HD mode. So you wanna make sure you have enough if you wanna watch a lot of 4K cameras remotely over the app or the PC software and multiply that by, the, that by the number of cameras you've got. So if you have issues with cameras dropping out, I'm gonna show you, for example, an example here, and you've got a data rate showing on the top. This tells you how much data rate your, each of your cameras using right now. So you've gotta have that plus some more extra, multiply that by two, and then multiply that by the total number of cameras you get. You need to have that number in total in your upload speed to be able to have not, cameras not dropping out on your app. When you're watching the app here, this HD, it tells you you're watching your cameras in HD. You can click on that to switch to SD mode where it'll switch to a lower resolution stream. It's called a substream, so you can watch it with your phone if you have especially a slow internet connection at your house where your NVR is or a slow internet connection on your phone. Remember, there are two sides to the coin there. One is the internet speed, upload speed at what you've got on the internet speed where your NVR is located, such as this, which is measured only by speedtest.net. It is this, what you see is not your internet speed, it's just how much data each of your cameras is using. So you gotta take that number, multiply by two, and then multiply by the number of total cameras you have if you wanna enjoy total HD streaming. That's the upload speed you need on this side, plus some more for your regular data usage, such as gaming, internet browsing, whatever else you guys are doing on your internet connection. So now I'm gonna show you how to make sure that all of your cameras serve up in a substream mode or SD mode on the app. Let's switch over to the phone. So the first thing you wanna do is open your app. And if you already have a device added like I did, click on the three dots next to the play button. Go to device details and go to stream setting under video play settings and make sure the live and playback settings are set to sub, okay? Main is a mainstream, which is a high resolution stream. If you try to watch all your cameras in mainstream, you probably won't be able to because your internet upload speed at the location of the NVR isn't fast enough and neither is your internet connection on your phone. That this only works, the main only works when you're really on the same network locally, on the same Wi-Fi. So here, make sure everything is on sub. That's one thing to double check. So now when I hit my play button, all my streams here, I'm waving my hand in the video as you can see, it's pretty good, it's pretty live. And this is all substream, it's SD as you can see. Now when I, let's say, hover over to the next group of cameras and I can actually control my pan tilt zoom as a matter of fact. And I'm gonna use the cards in the background to show you um, how the video is loading and how it's refreshing. It's pretty good. but. As you can see here in the center, it says SD. Now, if I click on that, it switches to HD. I'm going to move the camera down a little bit to show you something. You see these numbers on the top right? 790, 713, 884. That's your data rate on your cameras that the camera is using. Just, you need to have a good internet connection that supports that number per camera multiplied by two and multiply by the number of cameras you have. So for example, if I had four cameras, let's just say this is 1000 KB or kilobits per second. If I've got four cameras, I need at least 4000 and then to be safe, multiply by two, I need 8000 kilobits per second of upload speed on my internet connection. So that number when I saw, I mean, I did my internet speed, your upload speed at the NVR location needs to be that. Now, if all of your cameras were being viewed in mainstream, or which is equal to HD, you would need your internet connection on your phone. So my cell phone carrier is Tello at this moment. I only have two bars. It won't do 8,000 at all. It may even not do 1,000. So right now, I've been watching and making this video using my Wi-Fi while local on the NVR. 
And when I'm watching the cars go by in the front, the video doesn't really have much delay. It's pretty fluid. Let's watch a car go by to, for me to make my point and help you understand what I'm trying to show you. So I'm on the HD, as you can see, and there's a car going by in the corner. It's pretty good. So now I'm watching my PTZ camera in the front as cars go by and you can see there was fluid motion. I'm on Wi-Fi and I'm watching in HD mode. It's pretty decent. If I press SD, or if I press the HD button, sorry, and now it says SD, this is standard definition. And I'll bring the camera down a little bit so that you can see how the data rate changed. Let me make that point there too. You see it's 128. If I click on SD again, it changes to HD and you see it jumps to 796. Click on it again, it's a smaller number now. So I'm using less data for each of the cameras. And that's what you wanna do when you're on your cell phone signal because we're not always gonna get five bars or four bars, how many ever your internet connection on your cell phone shows. So now I'm on standard definition mode watching my cameras. I'm still on Wi-Fi, so I have a really good internet connection. You can watch on local network on HD mode, fine. But my point is to show you how to switch to SD mode and then watch it with your cell phone connection. Now I'm gonna turn off my Wi-Fi and I'm gonna turn off the camera for a second and then go back to it so it reloads the camera. So now it's tapping into my cell phone signal and I'm in SD, which is standard definition. I move the camera down a little bit. Make sure my data rate is lower than you know, 700 and such, and it is. I'll move the camera back up. And now I'm gonna watch the cars go by and see how fluid the motion is. I'm just waiting for a car to go by. It's pretty fluid with my internet connection that I have on my phone and the internet connection that I have on my um, router where my NVR is connected. So I can still see pretty good, decent video here. And I can zoom in and pan and tilt. All those functions are working really well. So what you've got to make sure is your internet speed is really good where you have your NVR. And on your phone, if you are going to be watching your camera system from a phone internet connection, make sure it says SD here. And it doesn't say HD because when it does, watch what happens. My connection now starts, you see sometimes the car just kind of froze there. You'll see freezing happening on moving objects or all of your cameras will not be able to connect. So let's try to switch to multiple camera view. And seems pretty good for me. My internet connection is good on my phone and it's pretty decent on where my NVR is, so I'm able to get decent video. If you are having issues with your camera dropping out when you're watching it on this app and you cannot get all of your cameras to load up, so make sure that you're not watching each of those channels. You can click on them and switch them by clicking the SD and HD and toggling in between. Make sure they're all set to SD. So how do I do that? Click on the quadrant, click on the HD or the SD to toggle it. So right now it says HD, and click on it, on it again, and I change the SD. I'm showing you this to help you understand that your internet speed is the prominent factor in what kind of viewing quality you'll experience on the app. So if some of your cameras are dropping out, and the way to troubleshoot it is you go to your NVR with a monitor connected to it, and then you find out when your cameras are dropping out on your app, are they still dropping out on the monitor connected to the NVR? If they're not, then you know it's just an issue with your internet connection. Hopefully, this video helps you understand how cameras work, or IP cameras and PoE cameras in a security camera system work alongside with your internet connection, and what you can expect from your remote viewing, and how to troubleshoot the issues you may be experiencing as a result of poor internet speed quality. Thanks for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.